I'm Dave Adams with TJN, the Jesus Network. It is time to change the planet, and we have the chance to talk on the phone right now with Dennis Legg of Fellowship of Christian Athletes. They've got some really exciting stuff going on and some exciting stuff we're going to talk about. First of all, Dennis, let's talk about your camp. Your Northwest Fellowship of Christian Athletes camp in Idaho starts uh, when? Starts very soon. Two weeks from Monday. That'll be Monday about midday. We'll begin uh, June 27th. Well, uh, FCA camp, we do one large sports camp for the whole Northwest, so we'll have uh, several hundred kids from all over Oregon, Washington, Idaho, and a handful from Alaska and Wyoming, a few other odd places. And it's uh, what camp is is really a five-day focus on uh, combining uh, emphasis on the Christian faith and on receiving Christ and following Christ and being a competitor for Christ. So. It's uh, really it's what we do at camp is um, pretty close to the heart of FCA's ministry, all of FCA's ministries, and that's uh, just meshing together and putting together uh, being an athlete or a coach and being a follower of Christ. And how does that look? And whether you're a coach or whether you're an athlete, so lots of hours, about five hours a day, the kids are working on the sport that they've chosen for that week, whether it's baseball or lacrosse or football, and then uh, time in small groups with college athletes uh, leading those groups a couple times a day and then a, a lengthy worship and teaching time each evening so it's a it's a packed week with a, a dual emphasis both on helping the the kids to move ahead athletically and spiritually so what are you seeing i noticed in the last email we got from you that you're very excited you're seeing a huge growth in numbers a lot of interest in kids yeah this is um for our area here in central oregon uh, which kind of includes part of eastern oregon as well it's the third year that we've uh, been developing fda's ministry on campus and, and at camp and i think the first year we sent a dozen kids and last year about 33 and as of today we're up around 54 or something like that so they'll join a few hundred other kids from all over all over the northwest as i mentioned but yeah it's great it's uh we've been as, as a board and i as a staff person have been hoping and praying that we could send at least 50 kids to camp and uh, at a banquet about a month ago we raised a bunch of scholarship money to help them get there to bring the cost down a little bit so yeah we're quite delighted in fact i'm having all kinds of uh, issues trying to figure out the transportation you know you, you you pray for something and you don't always think about the consequences of <laughs> of what you pray but uh anyway i'm living and learning in that regard when get when you pray for some success god gives you success it's like oh my gosh what are we going to do yeah and then and then we're surprised and then we've got to figure out how to get the kids there or whatever so i don't know the lord's got a good sense of humor and he's certainly at work in fca ministry and that's it's pretty neat to be a small part of that what are you seeing from the kids is it a, a renewed interest in faith is it with everything that's going on in the world they're just looking for something that they can put their hope and future into yeah um yeah i think all of that you know the ages that we're working with here in central oregon are middle school kids and high school kids on about 25 different campuses and uh, two things we're, we're trying to do there is just take advantage of that opportunity during one lunch period a week during school just to really encourage kids in the lord and also encouraging them to, <clears throat> to bring uh, kids that don't know the Lord to their huddles during the week or to camp. And, you know, we're hoping to see more and more people come to Christ uh, through that. And every, every year at camp, there are there's a good number of kids that come to Christ, and a lot of kids, I would say oftentimes the majority of the kids at camp, make some kind of a real concrete decision to get serious or more serious in a relationship with Christ, whether that means a quiet time or youth group involvement or uh, just being wise about the choice of friends that they're hanging out with. So um, all that's uh, all that's to the good. And just right in keeping with what we as adults need to be doing as well. Now, looking at your email, you said there's a huge growth in the numbers of FCA huddles at high schools and middle schools. What's a huddle? Well, huddle uh, for FCA, you know, it's a sports ministry fellowship for Christian athletes, and so we, I guess we've kind of over 50 years developed sports terminology for everything. Huddle is just a small group or or a, a club at the school. So um, the huddles meet at, uh, like at any of the high schools in Bend or wherever, they, they meet one lunch period a week, and we just call them small groups or clubs or huddles or whatever. So it's just the, this this middle school or high school venue where the, where the kids meet with an advisor and the kids lead the devotional time and stuff. So. According to your email, you've got huddles meeting in 25 area schools. That's amazing. 
Yeah, the Lord is good, and there's been a lot of, you know, a, a lot of groundwork was laid over the first couple of years, and I think we're now finishing the, the third uh, academic year, the third school year that we've had a full-time staff person in place, and there were we had a few huddles going after a, a few schools after one year, and I think about maybe 13 or 14 after two years, and then this year we started working in the middle schools, and the number has almost doubled, so um, yeah, lots of growth, and yeah, made my life entertaining, but that's all to the good, and uh, yeah, we're just really pleased with that, just a lot of kids meeting to encourage one another in the Lord and to try and share Christ with others, and I could just add one thing there, I think at this point, at the three-year juncture of finishing three school years, I think what FCA is doing in the in the high schools and middle schools is really strong in terms of encouraging kids who are Christians. I think I'd give us about a C-minus in terms of really reaching out to unsaved kids, and that's what we're we're trying to figure out how to do that much, much better starting next year. What What are some of the important dates you've got coming up? I understand you got something at the Bend Elks game on the 14th. You have something on Tour de Chutes on the 16th? Yeah, yeah, a couple things there. And, um, yeah, the first one is, is July the 14th is the Bend Elks game. And we're just going to help <clears throat> a brother named Kent Pratt. Kent lives in Redmond and has had a long term involvement with FCA in the Valley and then at Redmond High School and now up at Culver High School. And uh, Kent is also involved with a Cambodian baseball ministry, and he has arranged with Jim Richards, the the owner of the Elks, to have a, uh, the, the very first ever Faith and Family Night at the Elks on July the 14th. And we're trying to figure out how FCA can, he's asked us to help, and, and we're going to help with that. But that'll be an evening. It'll be a baseball game. And I, there'll probably be uh, maybe some kids that... Sh- that uh, saying God bless America during at the seventh inning stretch and FCA will have a booth there and uh, the Cambodian baseball ministry will have a, a presence there with Kent and then after the game I think there's going to be a concert and some testimony shared uh, by some of the Bend Elk so it should be a really neat evening and we're looking forward to that. Is there a cost uh, to attend that game? Uh, yeah it's probably the usual cost it's not a $2 Tuesday night it's probably $5 to get into the game but uh, I think that's a Thursday night the Tour de Chutes, which is a big July 16th, it's a multi-distance bicycle fundraiser for um, the St. Charles Cancer Center, and we've just decided to have a, an FCA team that rides there, and also just to help give FCA some additional exposure in a new kind of venue, and uh, we're using that as a bit of a fundraiser as well. We're asking the folks that join that team just to find some uh, folks that would be willing to support them uh, with some pledges per mile uh, just to help a bit more additionally with FCA Ministries. So at that, uh, if people are interested in that, they can uh, definitely get a hold of us uh, at centraloregonfca.org or, or uh, through my contact info. And uh, the distances there, that's what I was going to mention, are all the way. You can ride 7 miles or 25 or 48 or 72 or 100 all on that Saturday as a part of the tour to shoots on uh, July the 16th. And then something yeah, else? That's a, again, it's a first-time thing for us, and we're looking forward to, to uh, being a part of that on that day. And something else coming up is called the Field of Faith in October. It's a large outreach. Tell me about that. Yeah, that's something that um, FCA ministry is about 55 years old and you know a newer ministry here in the Northwest, and we've not yet done a Field of Faith, but what that will be, that will be our first really big outreach type of event. <clears throat> Excuse me two high school and middle school kids in the fall, and uh, we're going to do that, I think, on Wednesday, October the 12th, and that's a day when many, many uh, FCA area ministries do that uh, in the fall. And we're hoping to use either the football field at Mountain View or the gym at Mountain View High School in Bend, and the Mountain View kids really want to want to spearhead that. Uh, that's one of the biggest FCA groups is at that high school. And that will be probably some music and worship time involved there, some testimonies, and a short message about how important it is to become a follower of Christ and to follow Him throughout the course of your life. So we will be inviting all young people that can get there from all over Central Oregon to that. So um, anyway, yeah, we're excited about doing that for the first time. We kind of waited on that uh, to do a first field of faith until we had a good bit of ministry momentum going, uh, and I feel like we're at the place where it's time to do that. And some of the Mountain View kids contacted me this spring and said, why don't we do a field of faith? We've heard that they do in other parts of the country. Why can we? uh, Is there any reason why we couldn't do one here? And it was interesting. I just been pondering and thinking and and praying about doing that this fall for the first time. So 
I think the uh, the Lord has lined up things real well there. So, but more information will be forthcoming about that. That we're taking aim at October the twelfth for that event. Fellowship of Christian Athletes, you guys have been are going to be very busy this year. Yeah, it's been a busy year. Yeah, I've told lots of people. My just starting probably mid midway through the fall this last uh, this past year, my life just sort of spun out of control with. Uh, from a place where I think things are managed pretty well in terms of FCA ministry, to, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. So it's been a lot of fun, and uh, we've got good volunteers involved and a, and a great board, and I always could use some more help with a variety of things. So, so uh, let's talk about that. Well, specifically, what do you need help in? Do people just want to get plugged in and help out and say, man, this sounds great, I want to get involved? How do they do that? Yeah, I think the best way is just to, is to probably to contact me and... Uh, and just find out what specific kinds of things they'd be interested in doing, whether in campus ministry or if they want to help with camp or with financial support or board involvement or other volunteer involvement. Uh, just probably a face-to-face chat over a cup of coffee would be best, or at least a phone call to start that. So um, that would be the place to start. Okay, Dennis Legg, and he is the area director for Central Oregon Fellowship of Christian Athletes. And, of course, FCA. Is FCA worldwide? It is. It's really a national ministry, but we do now have staff in uh, Canada and Ukraine and maybe some other places that I don't even know about yet, but I, I've spent a bit of time with uh, the young Ukrainian fellow and a good uh, brother up in Vancouver who are, are heading up uh, Canada, FCA, FCA Canada, and FCA Ukraine. So, yeah, it's, it's a ministry that's, uh, you know, probably as time goes by, we'll put more and more people in place. Uh, to minister through sports in uh, foreign countries. Praise God. Keep it up, and we'll keep you in prayer. Dennis, good talking to you today. You too. Thank you, Dave. I'm Dave Adams. This is TJN, the Jesus Network. It is time to change the planet.